For today's review, we've got the Jimmy Airblown Inflatable 12 foot tall at home black tree. Now this is retailing for currently $150. I don't know how much it will when it goes on sale, but the retail price is $150 on it. I don't quite understand it. Their pricing is a little weird. If the jack-o'-lantern, the happy jack-o'-lantern 12 foot tall has a 60 and it's bigger than the tree and this has an 80 and the tree is smaller than the inflatable, I don't really see how the difference between the 60 and the 80 constitutes a $50 price increase for the tree. That's just me. I feel like a lot of people um, are also actually questioning that too, so I actually don't feel too bad about that. But uh, yeah, I don't really understand their pricing. Um, still going to buy it because it's a really cool design. It's definitely better than the uh, Happy Jack Lantern. You can see here, back of the box, 2021 Jimmy. Really cool inflatable. This is the first time they are actually putting a red face on the tree. I remember when we saw the early images that I got really excited at least that I thought they were gonna be changing the face of the tree and I didn't get full confirmation until I walked into the at-home store uh, last week and I saw that it was indeed a red face. So I was super excited about that, that they finally stopped releasing and uh, consecutively the orange face tree designs. So thank God that's over. Uh, this is probably going to come back next year and in 2023 and maybe in 2024 we'll get red face trees now but maybe they'll add animation or something that would be great but anyway let's go ahead and open it up so if you're wondering what that popping sound is in the background um of course the day that i'm filming the review on the tree my best friend's house is getting her uh her roof redone you know and then you get a nail gun about every 1.2 seconds so that's great awesome and um i i'll open it up now i'll open the thingy up now i always freaking forget about right here and i oh actually just on this one the dumbest decision, not the dumbest decision, I'm sh sure I could find something that would top it, but this new packaging design is awful. I can't stand it. Okay, so I guess the stakes for the uh, the cat that were on the outside, that is not the case with the tree, but anyway, you can see you've got your four plastic stakes, your tethers, and then assuming four metal sticks for the base fan instructions. I've got it on the stone because the grass is wet right now and I don't really want to get the box dampened or anything. The bag I don't care about though. Alright, so give me a second to open up the zipper and we'll find out for sure if it's an 80 or not. So I am here to confirm that it does have a YF80, so that's good. It also has a lot of the very thin fabric for the Halloween inflatables. Um, it, I think that's actually gonna look really good because on the box, it looks like such a badass inflatable on the box and I'm really hoping it's just as cool in real life all inflated. So uh, we'll go ahead and find out, I'll plug it in. Now I've tested it, works great. It's actually only staked down uh, the back leg and the front leg are the only things on this inflatable currently staked and that's because it can stand up on its own really really well it also inflates pretty fast which you'll see momentarily so I'm definitely going to take advantage of the fact that there is no wind right now and we can just get going so let's go ahead now since it's not staked down I'm going to have to help it up but you'll still get to see a pretty good inflation of it it's going to be way better than the cats that's for sure that's a pretty cool shot the very first thing that i noticed about the inflatable was that all the c7s are located in the face so you got your four in the mouth your one two three four and then you have two in each of the eyes so two in each of the eye sockets you do have 67s but they're located within i would say three feet of each other on a 12 foot inflatable which is really interesting it will actually create a really really cool i think nighttime look at this inflatable 
um, something you know you do not see on any other inflatables for just that little location of such a big design uh, be illuminated. Now the hands for it, the grabbing hands look great. They could definitely be animated. I think it would be really cool if they offset the animation so that both of the arms are animated. Um, they're just going at different times. The material that they have hanging down, that looks really good. Um, it's a nice touch to it. I don't feel like it's an afterthought. I think it definitely works with this inflatable. That's something actually that's really good about it is that there's no point on the inflatable that I don't feel like fits with another area of it or anything like that. It completely flows the entire time and works 100% in any Halloween display, I feel. I, I don't think you would have any problem positioning it somewhere. I think you're gonna be good no matter what. Now, it doesn't feel exactly 12 feet. To me, it feels about 11 to 10 and a half. I guess that's just because where you get the 12 foot point on it is uh, very, very skinny. Now, this is definitely the widest part of the inflatable, I would say, probably from the tip of the farthest left to the farthest right finger. I would say that's what is that? Maybe seven and a half to eight. I don't know about eight, but it's it's like seven and a half to eight, I would say. Um, so it's very wide inflatable too. 100% recommend it. 150 for it is worth it. I, I do think 150 for it's worth it. Um, it's better than, you know, what you're going to get at Lowe's nowadays. And that's kind of crazy to think about because I, I would always compare everything to Lowe's. And now that's not the case anymore. So I love this inflatable. If you're remotely interested in picking it up, I would definitely say go out and get it, but there's really no rush on it because at home's getting a ton of these. Now, I will say the face really looks like a kaleidoscope is in there, but it's not. It's C7 it's just reflecting off of obviously red material. And that kind of gives me an idea of they could have put a kaleidoscope for the face, a red kaleidoscope for the face, and then spread out the C7s throughout the rest of the tree. They could have gone that route, but they did not. And is it better or is it worse that they didn't do it? I almost think it's kind of better that they chose not to do it Obviously, it would illuminate the tree way better if they did the C7 kaleidoscope option, but they did not, and I kind of am glad they didn't because this one, this way, you can get the face by itself, and that's something we really don't get with trees. We, we just don't. We get the full tree, but at night, we're kind of only going to get the face, and I'm glad that's, you know, that's different, that's new, and I'm really excited for it uh, at night. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye.